there everybody Aaron here and welcome back to Digimobs! As you can see we're back at the jungle base! It has been a long time since I've been here and it is about to get dark of course. So we'll sleep real quick. Um, I did a little bit off camera, not a ton. Mainly I just chopped down some random trees as we went over here. Discovered there's a village like way over the hill over there. So that was kind of neat. That's pretty much it. I don't know why Tentamon stayed all the way over there. That's kind of odd. So I also learned thank thanks to Night Demon and some other uh, comments. I have figured out how a lot more of this stuff works. Uh, I didn't realize there was actually a whole new interface added. Where did he go? Did we just lose Tentamon? Probably. We probably lost Tentamon forever. Because that would uh, that kind of go with the way things have been going lately. And I forgot how far away this is. I have my volume up way too loud on my end. I wonder if he went in the portal. Hold on a second. There we go. Alright. He was hanging out over here because he was here when we started. There he is. Tentamon. Hell he oh, he was sitting. I didn't realize I had him sitting. So, this M thing matters because it brings up this little list down here and then you can select different commands. For your Digimon. And that's also how you put them back in the V-Pet. So he's now in the V-Pet. So anyway, I've got some lumber. So I'm going to take this uh, trip back. It's going to take a while, so I'm just going to... Because uh, I never did put the train tracks down here. So I'm just going to quit recording while I do that. And when I get back, we will uh, continue where we kind of talked about leaving off. Actually, we'll look around the other base real quick, because I wanted to try to get some stone um, for there, too. So, Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so this is something I kind of found kind of funny. Since this update, every time I go through a nether portal, I end up on top of the nether portal <laughs> that I come out of for some reason. No idea why. It just kind of made me chuckle. Okay, so some of the other things I've learned. Uh, for one thing, these guys' happiness matters now, and that's why Flamedramon attacked me uh, in the previous episode, uh, which caused us, unfortunately, to lose them all together and lose the Coromon that we had, which kind of stinks, but I'm not too worried about it, uh, as we still have Tentamon, so I was really hoping I had some, some of this done, but apparently I do not. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. Take some of this with us. I got a bunch of quartz out of the nether when I was running back. Got some jungle tree samplings to take with us as well. I think we're pretty much ready to go. Shows how long ago it was that I was in here. I have some more stuff. I should probably come back and actually do that. I should make... Well, maybe we'll just try to get by. I should make some more armor, to be honest. Oops. But we'll try to just get by, I think. Alright. The only thing that annoys me is I do not care for having to have a Digivice in my first slot all the time. But that's just kind of a personal preference. After quite a few years of playing uh, Minecraft that I have, because I always set my bar up to pretty much be the same, if you haven't picked up, if you haven't picked up on that, uh, let's leave those there. Someday we'll come back and there will be a giant jungle tree sitting there. All right, so I don't remember. I think this threw us out in the ocean. 
There is a block up there. Unfortunately, I think to see the block. What is that? Is that a computer? Okay, normally I wouldn't do this, but uh, I'm curious what that actually is. So we're, the only way I'm going to see it is to do this. It is. That's neat. There's my death marker. <laughs> we should run over there and see if Coromon is over there sometime. But that's interesting. We might have to figure out how to make that work a little better for us. But for now, I don't. It's fine that it's up there. We'll just leave it there. It gets us back here, so I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, so we have everything that we need. Let him out. Oh, I was gonna bring back more normal dirt. Do I have some in the house? I have enough to do what I want to do. We have so much random stuff. I should probably reset my spawn too now that I think about it. Oh, hold on. We need to tag out. Well, I should tag out a couple of tools, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to be digging out a ton of the dirt, so. So we want to keep Tentamon happy. Uh, I'm going to do my best to pay attention to that. Oh, I should have brought some bone meal, but oh well. Feeding him is generally one way of keeping him happy. So we'll do that and let him wander around now. Hopefully he won't get himself killed, but uh, who knows what will happen. I'm going to sleep real quick just to set my spawn back here again. And we're going to do what I had talked originally about doing, which was we need to we need to get a base set up here. An actual base instead of just a hole in the ground, which is what we were at. My original thought my my original thought was to build something over this biome here over the water, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea after thinking about it some more. Um, there are tools. Okay, we want to replace some of these. Brought quartz because I didn't know if I would want that at some point. Let's see, I want, want that pickaxe. I probably want that shovel for now. I guess we have a ton of these normal. We got Digistone. I kind—I don't know. Did maybe they've updated that? Maybe there's something we can do with Digistone now, but. I look forward to when that gets updated to where we can actually do stuff with it. So now the question becomes, where do I actually want to put our house? I can honestly say I'm kind of glad that the zombies and stuff aren't hanging out here anymore. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I like it. I don't have to worry quite so much anymore. At night, which works out okay. Oh, Tentamon's level 13 now because I we had some data sitting in the jungle base uh, and I just gave it all to him because I figured why not. Okay, so I wanted to try this. I think that's supposed to make him attack, but it doesn't seem to do anything.
Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I wonder, um, let's see. Okay, so I can select enemy Digimon by that. Does that make him attack then? Oh, there we go. And of course, Sentamon got killed. What a shock. <laughs> Ugh. I wonder if I can put this in a thing. Yep. Alright, we're going to deal with that. I'm not surprised. I think his stats were messed up from what it looked like. Um, especially compared to what that Tokomon stats just were. So, I kind of wonder if he was messed up because of that. So we'll uh, mess with that here in a second. So it takes time. It takes a long time to hatch eggs now. Uh, almost a little too long, in my opinion, uh, from what I was reading. But it is what it is. And you can shorten a lot of it by doing different things. Um, oh yeah, I hate how that... I hate how that... Uh, I'm, I never remember that it puts it out like right where you're standing. So you can shorten the time by giving them chips. And you can also shorten it by rubbing the egg every... You can cut like, an, I don't know, so much time off of it by rubbing the egg. So the thing I don't know is if we have to give them like specific kinds of chips or if anything just works. There we do have some insect chips. Give them up to six, I think they said. And you see his stats. If you we look at his stats over here in the lower right corner, his stats are way different than they were um, than he originally was. I know the for one thing, his agility here is showing thirty. His agility was showing zero. So I'm thinking his stats were messed up, which doesn't necessarily surprise me. Uh, with all kinds of changes like that, thing, weird things happen, so I'm not surprised by that. Okay, so you can give them different chips to affect their stats, like, just like was said, so that's kind of cool. And uh, we've given them, what, three? Three cuts a lot of time off. You should try to give them as many as we have, though, because we just as well. So I'm bummed out that that happened, but I'm not surprised that occurred. Uh, I was kind of concerned about that a little bit going forward. But it is what it is. Oh, I wanted to try. Let's give him one of those. We're going to give him a dragon chip. And we need one more. Why not? We'll give him a, we'll give him a holy chip, too. Okay, virus raised offense, dragon raised offense, holy raised defense, I think. That may have lowered it, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I really did make this huge. I thought that uh, blue Marimon might hatch or something at one point, again, like an idiot for some reason. Okay, let's put him right here. We're just going to leave him because he needs to sit. We can rub it once every, yeah, I think it's once every in-game hour you can rub the egg. So that kind of stinks. Uh, there may be a lot of me doing nothing um, off camera, standing around, waiting for that to work out. But for now, we have stuff to do. So we are going to work on it. And the sun comes up. Okay. Oh, I should have checked for bone meal. That's fine. Hmm, uh, I'm really not sure. Maybe I should just come and fill some of this in and just build the house right here. 
We'll probably just I'll probably just leave the digi portals where they're at. They're a little ways away from the house, but honestly, that's really not probably far enough to be a huge concern. There we go. Jungle tree in the digital world. I'll just leave that there. I mainly brought those as a way for us to get normal lumber. Uh, whoops. Those were my torches. Where did those go? So we don't need that right now. I should set up a separate chest actually. Oh, does Digiwood do anything now? Nope. I guess we had a good amount of lumber, actually. Okay, we're just going to do this real quick. I want to try, we're just going to set this up and we'll set it, actually you know what, let's just put it down by the egg itself. I'll put all of my normal Digimon stuff in here for him. Because I won't need it really for now. Healing discs. I am going to... Actually, I don't know. I should look. Um, maybe somebody knows this. If you know the answer to this, feel free to leave a comment about it. Uh, is the vending machine actually a recipe yet? Or is that still... Is that still creative only? Uh, I'm mainly asking because I'm going to put it in the house. And I don't know if we can break that one up there or not. It's not a huge deal either way, but... We have, like, so many random things now. I should, uh, I'm tempted to cheat and get another, uh, get the Tentamon starter just to get the, uh, correct Digivice color, but I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, we're gonna... I wonder, does Digigrass grow? Yeah, it does. So many interesting new things to learn, because I have no idea. Of course, we ran out. We'll just kind of start getting things ready here, and then we'll, uh, we'll have to end this episode, and the next episode will continue. So I guess, if you don't like building, I apologize. You're probably not going to enjoy the next couple of episodes, but that's kind of where we're at. Um, and I've been needing to do this anyway, so I'm not going to whine about it. Uh, we'll try to get, what we're going to do is we'll try to get um, Tentamon up and running here when I'm, once I'm ready to start cracking again, and uh, I'll take the time to try and get him going again. And hopefully we can actually uh, start doing some more stuff, and his stats should be where they need to be, where they're supposed to be, and all that other good stuff. So with any luck, he might actually be worth a darn now, as opposed to not being worth anything. <laughs> They've added a lot of new Digimon in, too. Uh, I'd like to try and at least see, if nothing else. Uh, and I'd like to actually run, see, check out these boss Digimon. Supposedly, they're a really bad thing to run into. What it sounds like. Especially if you're not prepared, so that could happen. We could end up having a lot of Digimon stuff go on. And who knows, maybe if we come across a boss Digimon that we like, uh, we'll kick its butt and steal the egg. Ooh. 
Alright, so we kind of get a thing going on there. Whoops. Wow, that really does knock those down quick. Takes forever to dig digital stuff, but doesn't take half a second to do normal. We're going to build a basic house first. We'll probably end up expanding upon this at some point. Silly Dokunamon, get off my house. Alright, so there's the basis for the house. I think we're going to have the door face this giant tree. <laughs> Maybe I should have put the tree in a slightly different spot. Oh, we can get vines off of that too. That might be useful actually. All right. Well, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and end this episode here. It might be a little early. I'm not quite sure. But uh, we'll end this episode. In the next episode, I'll continue building the house. It's not going to be anything too amazing. You've all seen how my houses look so far. So, yeah, not probably too different from that. Okay, let's see. Oh, cool. Cool, we can just move the vending machine. I don't think we'll have it in the house. I was going to put it in the house, but maybe we'll put it outside the house. Just, yeah, we'll just put it there. Oh, I need to build some stairs. So, All right, everybody. Well, that's going to do it for me. Unfortunately, we lost Tentomon in the end now, too. Uh, screwing around. But at least I've got stuff figured out now. And we're going to be able to keep on rolling. So that's going to do it for me today everybody as always take care of yourselves and i will see you guys on the next episode bye bye